Go ahead. Yeah. And sort of a follow up to that, obviously, we've got uh, both the, the Durham hearing today, as you mentioned, and the, and the TIP censure. Um, you know, it's there was a, a significant push by Democrats um, that it was a, a possibility that Donald Trump had colluded with Russia during the 2016 election. And that's sort of the, the gist of what Republicans are getting at with the shift thing. And it seems like now the you know, investigations have, have run their course and the, any sort of coordination between those two groups was, was not substantiated. So do Democrats regret um, holding that up as, a, yeah. as a narrative yeah. regarding the 2016 election yeah. and, and also to a certain extent its legitimacy? Yeah. Uh, what you just said is false. What the Department of Justice found in 2016, what happened is that the Russians interfered in the 2016 elections in a sweeping and systematic manner. The FBI had evidence that George Papadopoulos, a foreign advisor to the Trump campaign, told Australian diplomats that the Russians suggested to the Trump campaign that the Russians would release anonymous information damaging to Hillary Clinton. Turns out the FBI was right. In fact, the Russians had hacked the DNC and caused the release of information damaging to Hillary Clinton. Paul Manafort, Trump's former campaign chairman, later publicly admitted he shared internal Trump campaign data with a Russian spy. And then the U.S. Treasury Department found that this campaign data, which it quoted as sensitive internal Trump campaign data made its way into Russian intelligence agencies. There is a phrase for what I just described, the fact I just set forth. It's called Russian collusion. That is what history shows, and we're not going to let you or MAGA Republicans revise it.